hey, it's Nat. Let's check out what's been making news. The producers of The Simpsons say they'll no longer use white actors for the voices of characters from other ethnic backgrounds. The show's faced years of criticism over the issue, and producers, as well as the actors themselves, have decided now's the time to make a change. Here's Leela. Have been in households all over the world since 1990. Eat my short. <laughs> And while it's a much-loved show that's hailed for its clever, insightful commentary, it's also faced criticism over the years. Hi, caramba! You probably know this character, a poo. What? What are you thinking? I mean, thank you. I'll come again. Many say he reinforces racial stereotypes and is a negative portrayal of Indian Americans. Which is why earlier this year, the voice behind the character, Hank Azaria, decided it was wrong to continue to play him. It not only makes sense, but it just feels like the right thing to do to me. Now, the producers of the show have announced another big change. Moving forward, The Simpsons will no longer have white actors voice non-white characters. See, all of these very well-known characters are all actually voiced by white actors. A lot of people want them to be voiced by actors from the same background as them. And going forward, for the entertainment industry to give more opportunities to non-white performers. That's something several other white actors have decided they want to support too and have stepped down from some of their most famous roles. Back to The Simpsons, we don't actually know if it means the end of those characters or just new people playing their roles. But after more than 30 years, it does mean Springfield's set for some big changes. If you've got 61 minutes to spare, you can see exactly what the sun's been up to over the past 10 years. NASA has just released this incredible time-lapse of the Sun, captured by its Solar Dynamics Observatory spacecraft. Speaking of space, astronauts need your help to do their business. Literally. NASA's just launched a contest to help design a new toilet to be used on the Moon. NASA Mission Control, this is Kale. Yep. Yep. A problem. Ah, uh, yeah, Houston, we have a problem. I need the toilet. Yep, you might not think about it, but astronauts go to the toilet too. Right now, there's a couple of deep space dunnies on the International Space Station that work by using a fan to funnel out your number ones and number twos. I might add, it's color-coded, so you really don't get it mixed up, which is nice. This is yellows for number one. <laughs> But for Project Artemis, NASA plans to land and work on the moon. And for that, they need a brand new toilet. Past moon missions have used pipes or bags, and Neil Armstrong, well, he had to wear an adult-sized nappy. That's one small step for man. Yeah, and one giant nappy, Neil. So NASA's keen for a more sophisticated solution. The new toilet must weigh less than 15 kilos, collect a litre of wee per use, and must work in lunar and microgravity. What? Mine only works in microgravity. Ah. Here's where you come in. NASA has opened designs up to the public in something called the Lunar Lou Challenge, and the winning design will receive more than $25,000. So grab a pencil and some paper and take the plunge into intergalactic toilet design. There's no place quite like home, but let's step outside for a second so I can say welcome to my backyard. Forget swing sets, sand pits and pools, this couple in Russia have decided to build a replica of the Great Pyramid of Giza in their backyard. OK, so it's pretty massive as it is, but it's still 19 times smaller than the original. As you can probably gather, they are a bit obsessed with Egypt. But if that's your thing and you want to pay them a visit, it'll set you back about $70 an hour. Something that won't cost you $70 an hour, but might cost you some vegetables, is Chunk the Groundhog visiting your backyard. A farmer in the US noticed veggies from his veggie patch were going missing, so he decided to set up some cameras. What he captured over the next few months was nothing short of wholesome. Imagine stepping outside the back door and seeing... a uh, space. Well, that's just life for an astronaut on the International Space Station. Astronauts Chris Cassidy and Bob Behnken went for a little spacewalk to replace some old batteries with new lithium-ion ones. That's all the news for today. We'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, why don't you hit subscribe to stay up to date on all the future news videos we make.